what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video so today we are packaging all the freaking orders so it's a good day um i seen some comments everyone's like you know you got the cheapest shipping option well yeah i'm trying to make it as cheap as i possibly can because i know like youtubers merch can be like super expensive hence why like unless i really really like something i don't really buy it but you know it's like i paid money to get this stuff made I don't want y'all to have to pay an arm and a leg just for it to ship. You shouldn't pay more in shipping than what the actual item costs. So, yeah. But anyways, two lucky people are going to be getting um, my new air fresheners. So, one is a citrus. The other one's like a black ice type of scent. Okay. Now, it was ra it's randomly chosen. Cass was the one that helped me out with the orders, with filling the orders, writing everything down. And she just randomly chose two envelopes to put the air fresheners in. So let me just show you what that one would look like. So if you win, it'll look exactly like this. This is the citrus one. It has an orange little tag, an uh, orange uh, little thingy around it. If you, want, if you get the other one, it's going to have a black little tag around it. But yes, they smell freaking great. I'm going to be ordering more of them. I'm going to probably place an order for like 100 of each. And they're not cheap, but I will end up selling them. I just want your guys' feedback. So the two random people that do get one, um, let me know. Uh, send me a message on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, if you do win, uh, go ahead and uh, send Cass a message saying thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to finish this. Everything should be out in the mailbox by tomorrow and shipping out soon. I don't know how to update it on the, on the freaking computer saying that you know it's shipped but i made sure everyone's address is correct and once again i appreciate all the orders um i trust me much love much love all right boys welcome back to another video i'm currently dirty this is the millionth video of fixing the drive line <laughs> yeah this guy too so recently we figured out or he did that um drive line needs to be in phase so essentially what that is is the yoke from the trans needs to line up with the yoke on the carrier bearing and then the yoke on the uh power divider so what i didn't know because even i don't know this knowledge when i worked at the drive line shop we never pulled them out of the semis you know so i checked the volvos here in the yard and um literally they're all in sync so now, let me show you. So we did it to his truck first because he's dumb and he stripped that little nut at a truck stop. So we had to go pull his whole shaft out, get the nut taken off by a shop. But mine took about, what, 30, 45 minutes? So, yeah, now we're going to clean up. I'm going to hook my truck up to a trailer, and then we're going to uh, go on a test drive and see what happens. But first, I'm going to clean up. So, filthy. up here to cartersville Ugh, i'm having an issue with my freaking gopro 8 so it seems like there's going to be zero povs in this video which is pretty unfortunate because i recorded quite a bunch of clips and i tried to extract it to the phone and it just doesn't want to work but yeah we got the truck washed at the yard the other day so she's clean for now but we're about to hit a door and i gotta fix that well guys, we made it up here to Lithia Springs. We did a weird kind of a loop here. We went, came from Jack's, went to Savannah, picked up a load of paper rolls, went to Peachtree City, to Avery, and then from there, dead headed up here like 45 miles. Now we're picking up this. All right guys, well, this video took a different turn than I was gonna do, but uh, yeah. So our alternator ended up taking a crap. Well, it didn't take a crap, but this bearing is going bad, as I suspected. Look at that. 
It's got freaking a good amount of play and it's making a noise. So I figured I was like, I may as well buy a brand new one and just replace it while I'm here. So that's what we did. These are the cheaper ones, it's only 200 bucks. So a lot of you guys already know how to do this. Number one thing, you're gonna take the tension off this, unbolt this bad boy. Well, you don't really have to unbolt any of this. You could just unbolt this one, but unbolt these two right here. And then what you're gonna do, take this belt off when you unbolt this and take this off. You push this forward, take the slide the belt off and then, yeah. What you're gonna need to do is, when you buy a new alternator, it doesn't come with this pulley. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to uh, slide the pulley off, put it on the new one, tighten it down, and then you're good, okay? And then obviously, undo the connections on the back. Um, also, I uh, ended up doing research into the different style, like how the 14 liters are, the alternator uh, bracket with the AC and the tensioner and all that. <laughs> Well, yeah, that whole system right there is $2,500. And, uh, yeah, I'm really not trying to pay $2,500 right now on something that, you know, uh, I can do down the road or buy it piece by piece. So, just going to replace this alternator the way it is because this one's cheaper, $200. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to live with it. I mean, I lived with it for the last three years. I was just going to try to upgrade it to make it a little better, you know. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, finish this up real fast. I want to just talk to you guys real fast how important it is to pre-trip your truck the day before you hit the road. Came to the truck because I had just worked on it two days ago. Everything was fine, right? Because I replaced the alternator. I did some work. I replaced some air lines on the, uh, on the trans, on this little valve on the side play some airlines and whatnot come to find out thing wouldn't start and apparently uh freightliner has stopped buying these x ex exide batteries i guess because they haven't been lasting anybody that you know long at all and they've actually lasted me since whoo about almost three years now so uh tom neal was closed we got some spare batteries in the shop but napa would have had some as well and yeah put them in and now she starts right up thank god so start her up bam just like that so rule number one or just a word of advice if you're going somewhere the next day and you're at the house pre-trip your truck again because you never know what could happen <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the house and look what I have purchased. It's time to bring back POVs, but better than they ever were. So, I want to open this thing with you. I got the uh, Hero 11 Black, the Creator Edition, and it comes with the Media Mod, the light, and this thing. And for the price, you save about probably 100 to 150 bucks on this thing. And I needed one. The GoPro 8 was just not it. So here's the first glance. Ooh, this is nice. Let's pop this thing out first. Oh, wow. Look at that. We got the record button. We got the battery button. The Bluetooth. And you can change the modes. Whoa, that's sick. Look at that. And I think this is, acts as a tripod too, essentially, which is pretty neat. Next, we have the media mod itself. As y'all know, oh, it's got some nice buttons here now. As y'all know, I had the media mod, well, I still have it on my GoPro 8. This speaker is definitely a little smaller. That's cool. And I'm guessing this is the flashlight that you get. Yeah, look, little LED light. Freaking, whoa. Oh, it's got a couple. It's got a couple different brightnesses. Okay, I think this just slides on kind of like so. 
Boom, look at that. Wee. Yeah. All right, what is this? A battery. And now we have the GoPro itself. Let me see if I can set you guys up on this camera. All right, guys. Well, here's the recording on the GoPro 11. I have cinematic mode on. So, yeah, I unboxed everything. I have all the batteries. Now, one thing I can tell you is that the, uh, the batteries from the 9 that I had... I have two over there, they're charging. They fit on the 11, so that's good. Um, also, next thing that I wanted to cover, um, thank you to everybody who did order a sticker. They're all out. They should have either gotten to you or are still in transit at this current moment in time. Um, I am also ordering the air fresheners. Now, if you want a sticker, I'm gonna put the link down below, uh, Big Cartel uh, slash like Trucker AK or something like that. But, um, yeah, so guys, uh, I know there wasn't much, um, I did record a POV on the GoPro Hero 8, but it didn't want to work, so unfortunately, um, when the next video comes out, that's when you'll see the, uh, new footage with this new GoPro and all that jazz, so look forward for that because the old style videos are definitely coming back, um, I just, I don't know, I, I, don't know why I didn't pull the trigger on a GoPro like this a long time ago after I lost the 9. I think it was just like the, <laughs> the, the, the perspective of losing a GoPro. You know, it sucked. Plus losing the 9 and not the freaking 8. I would have rather have lost the 8 than the 9 because that was the newest one that I had. Um, but yeah, so look forward. I'm going to try as much as possible to get back to the regu regular scheduled uploads. Um, I might start live streaming ATS again. I've caught an interest to that again. They recently released a bunch of new DLCs and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.